Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you these Artistro watercolours. They very kindly gifted me this watercolour set and I'm going to unbox it and show you everything inside and swatch and test out these paints. So let's get straight into it. So I think we need to appreciate how this tin comes in this velvet bag and then the tin is a really nice muted pink tone. So you get 48 watercolours in total in this set. Within the set you also get 10 sheets of watercolour paper, it's a really nice quality paper as well. So when I test this out a little bit later you can see the quality of this. The size of the paper is 12 by 21 centimeters, and they're all individual, so it doesn't come in a sketchbook format. They are all individual pieces of paper. You also get a swatch sheet, so you can swatch all of your paints, and then you also get this sheet of acetate with all of the different colors and names of those paints. You get an eraser, a water paint brush, a pencil, a regular paint brush and a little sponge. It's a really lovely packaged set of watercolours. I'm now going to start my swatch test and the first thing I notice is that all of these colours blend really really well and they're nice and creamy. I really like the blue tones of these paints especially the peacock green, I liked the sea blue and also the pain ash. I really enjoyed using those colours. I'm always drawn to greens and blues so for me those were my absolute favourites from this set. They worked really nicely with the highly pigmented areas and then with a gradient wash so I could really control my use of paints with these watercolours. And the swatch sheet of paper was a really good quality piece of paper as well. With this set you also get four metallics and then four fluorescents. And the fluorescents were very, very fluorescent. Think highlighter fluorescent. But overall really enjoyed those paints. Now I'm going to start on trying them out on an actual piece of artwork and I've decided to paint a portrait. It's not something that I generally do a whole lot of but it's something that I want to get better at and I think using a smaller piece of paper like this is a lot more personable so it doesn't seem so intimidating working on this size. Now the paper has got a texture to it which is quite nice across the page so I did enjoy using this paper for my watercolour painting. I'm just mixing my skin tone so I've decided to do sort of that yellow undertone and I've gone for sort of like one of those pretty girl paintings. And I'm also wanting to introduce a lot of those blue tones to my painting. So like I said, I really do enjoy using blues within my work. So if you've watched any of my colouring pencil videos, you'll know that I do tend to use a lot of blue in my work for those darker tones. Now I may have overdone it a little bit with this painting, but I was just experimenting and I really enjoyed the process. The colours mixed really well, they blended well together on the page and I thought there was a good colour payoff. Let me know in the comments what you think of the paint or let me know in the comments any tips you would have on getting into portrait painting. I used a lot of layers on this piece, so allowing all of my paints to fully dry before then working in on other sections, otherwise I would end up with quite a muddy, messy painting I think. I found that the paints lifted really well if I made a mistake 
and it was quite useful to use the lifting method on some sections of the paint. Make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you have been enjoying my videos, it really does help me out a lot. I'm trying to reach my first 1000 subscribers and I feel like I'm so so close. So if you have been enjoying my videos, please do make sure you subscribe because it does really help me out. If you are interested in buying these paints, I will leave all of the information in the description box. Adding the details to the eyes really made this piece come to life. So adding in that crease line and then also adding in those eyelashes, it really did make this piece come to life. I will be adding some highlights to her eyes in just a moment, but for now those eyelashes I think really do make a really big difference. For most of the painting I have used the paintbrush that is included within the set, so just a regular paintbrush and I found this to be a really good size to get in all of the details and I didn't have any issues at all. But for the hair I decided to use the water paintbrush and I've gone in just with this gradient tone at the moment as a base layer. So I've added a burnt umber to the bottom half of her hair and then just the lemon or the light yellow towards the top. And then I'm going to work over this to create a dark brown hair colour because I think it would go really well with the sort of blue tone skin. The hair was quite an enjoyable process of the piece. It did take quite a while to get it all correct. I, obviously there are still some areas that I could refine and make even better, but I enjoyed creating it. Then for the background, I decided to go in with an orange to complement those blue tones within her skin. I thought that would really help the piece pop from the page. And there we have it, that is the final painting. I really have enjoyed using these paints. So I've given these a good test and I would 100% recommend. I think that they are really well packaged. They look so nice in their packaging and for a gift, these would be absolutely perfect. I did really enjoy a lot of those blue tones. So 100% recommend. If you are interested in purchasing these ones, I have a discount code that our Artistro have very kindly given me. That's in my description box. If you are going to purchase those ones, go over to Amazon and use that discount code for these. I really enjoyed using those blue tones within my portrait and portrait paintings aren't something that I usually do. So for me, this was a really good experimentation. If you have enjoyed my video today, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also, make sure you subscribe. It'd be brilliant to have you join me on my channel and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.